I think of Justin yeah. Bieber. That, uh, that really fat um, black woman who sang is sitting on a toilet. The only one that I, I don't know of would be the video of that like, guy was angry at his daughter and ended up shooting her laptop. Facebook parenting, I think. Uh, the panda sneezing. The most recent thing, which is that Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. I think people are drawn to online media because they want to connect with other people who have the same views that they uh, have. I think people are drawn to it because it's easily accessible. Everyone has laptops and the big um, uh, factor in a lot of the new technology is internet access. That's what everyone focuses on. So the 3G, 4G and all of that. So just it's really easily accessible. <laughs> Because maybe they feel a connection to other people who are watching it, or somehow, like, they feel, I guess, connected to the media in general, and that, like, they are in the in crowd by watching certain things, and, like, what's popular. Um, I think to a point there's uh, anonymity. Um, you can say things that uh, you wouldn't say, typically. Uh, you, I mean, when it comes to things like Facebook, uh, whatnot, Twitter, there's a lot of social contact. We, we're social creatures. We want to talk to each other. <laughs> I think people are definitely drawn more towards entertainment than they are finding out what's going on. I guess I'd probably go for both, but probably more the entertainment because obviously it's entertainment for them and more people want to see that than really want to be hit by some of the depressing news. Uh, it depends on your age. Um, kids are more drawn obviously to entertainment and I would assume that adults would be more drawn to actual factual. Um, I think that initially we're drawn to entertainment pop things because we just like that kind of stuff. I don't know how else to say it, but we have a natural urge to want to know who somebody is dating, why they get a divorce, who's pregnant, who's fat. So, and it's stupid. It, it's really stupid. People are curious about tragic news because they're actually uh, worried about what's going on in the world, and they're afraid that it's actually going to I think, I think people are more drawn to tragedy because um, it sort of gives them a realization uh, as to what, what type of situation they have, and it sort of gives them a, a false sense of security, like when you see you know, hurricane victims and things like that, you sort of think, well, that, that's never going to happen to me, and that sort of gives you a... Uh, uh, I don't know, a good feeling in a way. So I say, I think people are more drawn to tragedy because uh, they're more just curious, I guess, as opposed to sympathy. I think they uh, are interested because of it's kind of the. I don't think it's sympathy. I definitely think it's curiosity. I think people like to see drama. They like to see. Uh, Things going wrong for the people, kind of that. Oh wow, look at that! Oh, because um, you're curious of what actually happened, but you're sympathetic towards the people. An Ohio woman, Valerie Sprill, has had quite a few heartbreaks in her life. At the young age of nine, she discovered that the man she had believed was her father was actually her granddad. Then she came to the realization that a woman referred to as a friend of the family was in reality her birth mother. Valerie finally thought she found happiness when she married a man named Percy Sprill. However, another horrifying family secret came out. After her husband's death in 1998, she was told by an uncle that she had married her own biological father. Using hair from a brush, a DNA test confirmed the shocking claim. While she had no idea about her husband's true identity, she suspects her spouse may have known and was too scared to inform her. Valerie hopes her story can be an inspiration to people who are battling with family problems. She states, 
It needs to be told because children need to know where they come from, and I know it hurts because I have been devastated by this. Uh, I just think that's, there's so many weird, uh, I think it's a big coincidence, I guess the thing that pops out the most as I stutter, um, is the coincidence that she met her biological father and I guess married him. I find that incredibly coincidental and weird, um, and I guess that just sort of adds to the weirdness of her grandfather being, or her, what she thought was her father being your grandfather, and then um, the whole, what it, I forgot what it said about her mother, but I guess the thing that pops out the most is the um, I guess dad. It's, it's, it's a bit of a shock, you never expect something like that, and I guess probably went viral because, as I said, so many people would not have expected that, and I'm guessing a lot of people probably also thought it was a bit of a hoax, maybe, because it's kind of something you wouldn't expect to be real. So I had an idea, but I didn't. Normal, a lot. The sticker is very really normal life, and just all the incest and stuff, and like how she didn't know. I hope she realized. Um, and so I think it went viral probably because people are just interested in how someone could be lied to like almost all their life. It's like a movie that's like gone wrong. I mean, the news item is interesting because it's shocking. It's not something that happens every day. Kind of messed up. <laughs> so I think that probably helps with the whole going viral thing, and I don't know, the uh, whole creepy factor and like, I don't know, it's just not something you see every day.